A landscape marked by sharp heights, the result of ancient erosion which destroyed vast limestone tableland, sparing only spectacular towers and flat topped formations with sheer walls. The Taki and the Tonneri, Pervaliana, the San Giorgio Pass are the main landforms in this part of Oliastra. Impassable bastions where untamed nature still today walls off the attacks of man and of cultivation. This is still the undisputed kingdom of the holm oak and the strawberry tree, wild boar and mufflon. The network of trails created by the Sardinian Forestry Agency in this part of Ogliastra winds through the territories of the municipalities of Osini, Seui and Ulasai and brings us into contact with exceptional landscape and naturalistic variety, its people, its art and its history. A history which takes us far back in time, right back to the Bronze Age, to the mythical period of the Nuragi. Indeed here we find numerous traces left by the ancient inhabitants of these lands. The Nuragi Serbisi, built at 964 meters on the summit of the Tacco of Osini, is the most important and striking in the area. It looms over the whole surrounding territory. It consists of a central keep and three side towers, all linked by curtain walls. Around it we find traces of the eight stone huts, which made up the small village. A long trail 521, known as the Trail of the Nuragi, visitors can also pay a visit to another interesting complex, the Nuragi Urceni. This is a single tower structure associated with a small village surrounded by a wall which is 80 meters long and up to 5 meters high. In its interior, apart from the central keep, there is space for seven distinct chambers, which probably had separate functions. Moving on to the territory of Seui, along Trail 112, we come upon another important complex, the Nurage Ardazai. This is a single tower Nurage, built by exploiting the rocks lying below and with some side towers with a small village nearby. The story goes that during the 70s an old man from Seui lived in the central keep for some years. Trail 112 winds through varied nature and landscape. Starting from the services center of the Montarbo Regional Forest, its first stretch follows the old, exceptionally beautiful Ermolinos Trail, which flanks the stream of the same name. This stream is marked by a series of waterfalls and pools teeming with small trout. On its banks, some Taxus baccata trees grow a species not commonly found in Sardinia. This easy trail winds along the course of the torrent, crossing it several times and passing through a thick stand of European hop hornbeam, another tree rarely found in Sardinia, with characteristic deep green leaves. Further along the trail, we come across a true natural monument, the enormous home oak Silesia Canali. Its circumference measures some 6 meters, and its branches reach 18 meters in height. After a short climb, the trail reaches the edge of the Tonnelli Cliff. 
sheer walls are interrupted for a short stretch at Sascale Samarra, the traditional passage used by shepherds and hunters to cross the Taco and clamber down its north face. Today, it is much easier to negotiate thanks to trail maintenance work carried out by the Sardinian Forestry Agency. We might almost be in a fantasy film. A thick wood of European hop hornbeam forms a patchwork of green and dark colors, while the undergrowth is scattered with a pale pink and magenta peony and cyclamen. Trail 503, starting from the village of Ulasai, crosses the Taco, passing through the gully of Satapara, with its narrow passages amidst great blocks, which have fallen to the foot of the cliff and its high sheer walls, marked by cracks and fissures. A truly spectacular landscape, and indeed the area draws hundreds of rock climbers from all over the world, eager to accept the challenge of these vertical walls. The Taki, with their high rock walls and sharp edges, offer a number of panoramic viewpoints of great scenic appeal. Pizzu Marjani Pubuza, with its 1,324 meters, is the highest point of the Tonnery complex. Visitors can enjoy an all-round view over the Genargento and the Flumendosa Valley, over Perdalian and the Tacchi of Osini and Ulasai. Along these trails, the Sardinian Forestry Agency has set up springs and picnic areas, offering a pleasant rest for hikers. In the area of Baulassa, we found two rebuilt pinetos, the traditional shepherd's dwellings, which in all probability are the descendants of the ancient Eurasian huts. In the vicinity, a creek forms a clear pool of water, surrounded by alders and hawthorns just the right place for a short, refreshing rest. Downstream, the torrent cascades over the cliff, forming the waterfall of Santa Barbara, whose flow can increase considerably for a few days after heavy rain. The trails of the Takido Yastra area, managed by the Sardinian Forestry Agency, are all clearly signposted and have panels with information on the characteristics of each trail, duration of the walk and route markings. The map of the trail network, together with other information, is available on the Sardinian Forestry Agency's website and from its local offices.